welcome to all engineering graphics and design now you can see the parabola how to draw in the autocad go to open autocad it is parabola by rectangle method you have draw rectangle i draw is base length 100 mm and height is 150 mm it is rectangle parabola rectangle method how to draw in the autocad i explain now first you have to select a line command from base 100 mm draw 100 mm 100 enter draw 100 mm straight line horizontally straight line then vertical 150 mm 150 enter then again 100 then close enter or same value give press enter okay first you have to draw the rectangle then next go to the command bar type p type or a ddp type p type select p type select the point style we make it point here so select point style i select this and point size give 5 or 3 and next is set size in absolute unit. Here two things are set size relative to screen and set size in absolute units. Second one you have to select and give OK. Next in the command bar you have to type divide. Divide the baseline. So you take command divide and select the base horizontal line, 100 mm line. And divide into 10 division 10 enter next one more enter in keyboard select the vertical line 5 enter okay this vertical line divide with 5 divisions 5 segment and base line divide with 10 divisions okay next take line command from draw one center line you have join like this okay now take line command from this center join the inclination like this join like this from left side draw like this then again take line command from bottom to top the L assembly is a perpendicular like this draw straight line again Join the all lines. Okay. In the parabola, see here the first line intersecting the inclination line here. So it is here parabola first point. We noted the first point. So I trim this for your convenience. Go to trim first intersecting here. No. So I delete this. This point only need. Next, second line intersecting here. So, after this, there is no need line. Okay. Next, third line, third inclination line intersecting here. This much only daily. Next, fourth line intersecting here. Okay. Next, this much you will need. Uh, here, you put point. Type point in the command bar. Select point. First point, enter. Second point, enter. Third point, enter. Fourth point, enter. It is center point. Plus point. Okay. Next, for differentiate, these points are you have to change the color. For second, third, these points are go to. By layer here available with this properties. The first by layer click and change the color. Anyone suitable color got to. Okay. Next, you want to draw the parabola curve. All the points were not located. Next, to draw the parabola curve. It is in the command bar. You have type spline. Spline. Yes, spline. Spline curve. 
from the left and bottom we can start okay we need the curve in, so ortho of select the all the curve like this okay this before that this left side or right side also same thing we need uh, so you go to mirror it go to mirror command select the all the lines and the points i selected press enter from top to bottom okay now this curve is come sharp okay so again go to spline curve in the command bar otherwise the draw two bars are available the first one is spline curve first point you can start the left bottom end second point third point and the fourth point select the all the located points finally from the right end left end you can start then somewhere some length put and press enter okay this curve again to this called parabola curve this curve only we have to add thickness okay all the same lines also depart 0.5 mm this, this curve only we have to differentiate so we got to increase the line weight so in the command bar type p edit p edit okay then you got select the which curve this curve we got select then press enter just enter in keyboard next specify the precision 10 enter then select the width you want to increase the curve width so select the width and the width is uh, 1 enter see now the parabola curve only it is thickness increase okay then you want to change the color select the curve again go to properties go to any one color click like this press the escape button okay next properly give the dimension finally all the diagrams give the proper dimension go to annotation toolbar linear dimension select i give the vertical dimension 150 mm then linear horizontal dimension give like this okay it is parabola rectangle method you have to draw like this only this much enough and give the dimensions okay thank you